There are a lot of people who are living with anger and shame and sadness and pain, but I feel like we have an understanding of that on a deeper level now. I had talked about suicide in my role as a chief medical correspondent on ABC. I have known people very close to me who have died by suicide, but it didn't affect me personally until my ex-husband and the father of my two teenage children died by suicide in February of 2017. As a professional and public figure, I uh, really struggled to put our lives back together again, and I wrote my book, Life After Suicide, to share not only our journey, but the journey of many others whose life have been affected by suicide, which unfortunately is now the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. And the CDC estimates that for every person who dies by suicide, 135 other people are directly affected. So that is millions of people who are really suffering in the shadows. I sincerely hope that reading my story and the stories of others who have lived after the suicide death of a loved one will help you and help you find some comfort and some community in a very, very painful and difficult situation.